the women's T20 challenge is all set to start tomorrow at Pune. Let's take a look at how the squads are placed in this tour. Coming to the defending champions, Smriti Mandana, Trail Blazers first. Trail Blazers on paper have a very very batting heavy squad. They have Smriti Mandana herself, the captain, Jemima Rodriguez, the flamboyant right hand batter who was missing from India's ODI World Cup squad. Hayley Matthews, the explosive West Indies opener or top order bat. And apart from these three, they have S. Meghna, who was very, very impressive on the tour to New Zealand. And Richa Ghosh, the young wicketkeeper bat from Bengal, who can get you those quick runs. Going for experience, they also have the middle order bat Sophia Dunkley from England, who has been prolific at the number 5 and number 6 positions for England. Pitching goes to quick fire 25 30 runs from 15 20 balls at a strike rate of 130. So, Trailblazers definitely have the best side when it comes to batting in the tournament. Coming to the bowling department, Trailblazers have a very, very experienced spin department consisting of leg spinner Poonam Yadav and Rajeshwari Gaikwad as well. Apart from that, they have the experienced Bangladeshi captain Salma Khatun who can bowl those off-spinners and leg-spinners as required. It's only the pace department that the Trailblazers have a tad to worry about when compared to the other teams. But on the other hand, it's a great opportunity for Smriti and even the selectors and the coach to see some new talent on display. They have Shraddha Pokharkar, the left-arm pacer from Maharashtra, who was very good in the senior women's T20 tournament, which concluded recently. Also, they have Sujata Malik, who was very impressive in that same tournament as well. Apart from these two, they have Arundhati Reddy and Renuka Singh, who have already played for India in the shortest formats. So, this will be my starting probable playing level for the train blazers. Smriti Mandana, Hayley Matthews, Jemima Rodriguez, S. Meghna, Richa Ghosh, Sophia Dunkley, Salma Khatun. Poonam Yadav, Rajeshwari Gaikwad, Shraddha Pokharkar and Arundhati Reddy or Renuka Singh. We can also see Sujata Malik getting an opportunity in one of the games. Let's move on to Team Velocity next. Team Velocity was led by veteran Vitali Raj for the past two seasons. But now they have a new captain in the form of Deepthi Sharma. Deepthi Sharma as we all know is a very very good tactician of the game. So let's see how she goes about in her debut season as a captain. Team Velocity in my opinion is one of the most balanced squads in this competition. They have the right mix of experience and youngsters in their team. Also their batting, the spin department and the fast bowling department is also evenly balanced. There is no short of aggressive openers in Team Velocity as they have young Shafali Verma and KP Navgire who has had a fantastic senior T20 women's domestic tournament. The Nagaland opener scored 162 runs in one innings and also smashed the fastest 50 of the tournament. I had already done a reel on the 5 domestic talents to look out for. Do check that out right on my Instagram profile. Velocity also have the flamboyant South African batter Laura Volwark in their mix and Yastika Bhatia who is capable of building an innings along with skipper Deepthi Sharma and Sne Rana also who is capable of contributing those quick runs in the lower middle order. Velocity have a very very experienced spin department in the form of Sne Rana, skipper Deepthi Sharma herself Radha Yadav, the left arm spinner as well. This will be my starting probable playing level for team velocity. Deepthi Sharma, Shefali Verma, KP Navgire, Laura Volvart, Yastika Bhatia, Radha Yadav, Sne Rana, Ayabunga Kaka, Kate Cross, M. Sonavani, the leg break bowler and Simran Dil Bahadur. It will be interesting to see if Deepthi Sharma opts for an extra batter in the form of either Shivali Shinde or Keerthi James 
in the place of an additional spinner depending upon the conditions.